Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into this Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis rehydration clause today. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Quick hits uh, comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to the other channel on YouTube. Um, that is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, Davis and Garcia, they have a 10-pound rehydration clause. Let me tell you why this is not a big deal at all. Everyone is making a big deal about this. I, I, I've heard Mighty Max Boxing say fighting uh, rehydration clauses are dangerous. So is fighting in a weight class you don't belong in. Um, it, it's dangerous because you're, you're fighting in a weight class you don't belong in. It's that simple, right? Like, it's a 10-pound rehydration clause that's one pound over the lightweight limit. So, to me, this is a 145, right? If we're not at 135, we're at 140. There are 17 weight classes, 18 if you count bridger weight. <laughs> uh, you know, pick a weight. Don't make another one. Really. So, you're not doing this at 35, so it's a 145. Tank didn't want that, so they agreed to 136. And Ryan made another concession. Um for rehydration clause. To me, what I'm thinking is Tank says, I want the fight at 35. Ryan says, no, I want it at 140. Tank says, I'll give you another pound, but I want a 10-pound rehydration clause. To me, that's a reasonable, that is a reasonable solution, right? We go over 136, but you don't come in over 146. That's that's fair. That's reasonable. Um, The other thing is, you know, when a bigger guy fights a smaller guy, it's it's fair to meet somewhere in the middle. And what Ryan is saying is that he's not a lightweight. But 136 is also the dumbest catch rate possible. In non-title fights, there's always a one-pound tolerance. So this is that. This is a one-pound tolerance of a lightweight fight. So it's just a dumb catch rate to me in the first place. The rehydration clause is what it is. I mean, it's 10 pounds. Um, Oscar says it's no big deal. Ryan says it's no big deal. It's no big deal. On top of all of that, if Ryan doesn't make it, the fight still goes on. So if he comes in at 148, maybe he gives him some money. Maybe he, you know, he gives him some of his purse or missing the rehydration clause. But the fight's still going to go on as long as he makes 136. You know, they're not going to cancel the fight hours before the fight because Ryan missed weight by two pounds, right? So Ryan says he walks around at 148. You know, maybe he comes in a little, oh, well, this is not a big deal, right? Like the, the rehydration clause is not indicative of whether or not the fight goes on. So the concession is like a monetary concession only. If Ryan doesn't want to make the weight, Ryan comes over, Ryan will just give him some money. The fight's still going to go on. Why? Because the commission records the weight. The weight for the fight is 136. Ryan made 136. Anything other than that is irrelevant, right? It's completely irrelevant. So as long as Ryan makes 136 the day before the fight at the weigh-in, the fight's going on. The worst they can do is contractually take money from him if he doesn't make it. But, I, you know, I suppose he will. It doesn't really matter. Other guys have missed rehydration clothes. It doesn't, it doesn't stop the fight. It's not going to stop this fight. There's too much money on the line. Um, and it's too big of a fight to, to think that that's going to get in the way of making such a big fight. Um, you know, and then there's the rematch clause is one way rematch clause. All that tells me is that tank is the A side tank is the A side in the fight. If tank loses, he get a, he gets a rematch. The rematch goes on the goal of boys, the, the lead promoter, and it goes on to zone. That's fair and reasonable too. It, 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 if Tank wins, as he's the betting favorite, fights, no rematch. 
The interesting thing is if there's a draw, what happens then, right? But you know, that, that should have been put in the contract. I think organically, if it's a draw, like Canelo and Triple G will get a rematch anyway, you know, because you, you want to see a winner. So I, I, I think you're just organically going to get that anyway. Um, So uh, that's pretty much it. The fight is official. It, it's going down. Uh, the first press conference was today in LA. The second press conference is tomorrow in New York. And um, we got ourselves a mega fight. You know, uh, this is a mega fight, right? I know it's a non-title fight. Um, I know Ryan Garcia really hasn't beaten too many top but Ryan Garcia is a star, and so is Tank Davis. And Tank Davis has earned his star. Ryan Garcia gets it, uh, you know, off his looks. You know, he he. Ben got his started from knocking people out in the ring. Ryan Garcia got his from God. <laughs> uh, no, Ryan's a good fighter. I, I, I'm picking Tank to win the fight, but Ryan Garcia is going to be competitive. He's going to be in the fight. Uh, I think it could be one of those things, like we've seen with the Rolly Ramirez fight, the Mario Barrios fight, and, and with Santa Cruz, that, that, that Ryan's winning, winning the fight until he gets knocked out. Ryan's a good fighter. He's fast. He's got an offensive game. He's really good. Uh, but I just think Tank's explosiveness, his power, and his timing, eventually Tank's going to get you. I'm a Tank truther. I think Tank's the best middle, uh, middleweight. I think Tank is the best uh, lightweight in the world, and I, I think he's going to remove all doubt on that. The only fight I would really like to see that I, I think someone maybe could neutralize him is Shakur Stevenson. That's the one fight I, I think possibly, potentially, someone could stabilize him. I would still lean towards Tank in that fight, though. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. The rehydration close to me is a non-factor. I'm not sure why everyone's making a big deal that we've seen rehydration closes so many times, specifically in Canelo fights. I'm not understanding why this is a big deal. Um, if he doesn't make it, the fight's still going to go on. So it's really a non-factor. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments uh, on that. Uh, please remember to like. Follow and subscribe, 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, it is March 8th, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.